Hi hey guys, welcome to Riloy Pinoy. Uh, we're making another road trip today. This time we are headed for Trece Marteres. Do a little grocery shopping. Uh, give you an idea uh, of the streets and the area where the supermarket is located. It's uh, close to uh, SM Trece. We'll do a video on SM Trece's Saturday morning, guys, it's uh, about 9.20. I uh, hope I have the right address, or uh, address. I have the right uh, date on. So this is Bagdas. That's a parking. Little mini market. Looks like there's some checkpoints happening. Yeah. There's a lot of Marangay Tano hanging around, uh, directing traffic. People uh, have their stores open. The street's a little narrow, so you gotta be careful of all the pedestrian uh, passing by across the street. And you got a guy here selling a table. busy this morning here in the market. It's a shortcut we take to get to the main highway. We take the long way through the subdivision area. But I think uh, Bagdas has a little bit more of a scenery for people that are uh, from Tansa. Bagdas Tansa area and maybe from around here and uh, recognize uh, the area coconuts is a never ending sale here this dog's gonna get hit here in a second all right let's be able to avoid him from getting 
hit. Sometimes not looking. Animals are the same. They're always uh, in seek of food. Okay, we're about maybe three quarters up the street here to get to the highway. Like some uh, construction uh, work here. Water uh, filling station. Passing us by. You know, I've seen a lot of uh, kites being so. It's a little windy the last few weeks here. No big storm that we're aware of, but uh, definitely a lot of strong winds. So it's a good day to fly a kite. Church here on the left side. It looks like the field here is starting to look a little uh, green. Some people do some harvesting there the end of uh, last week. Okay, we're about to uh, get to the corner where the main street is. We got some tricycle toda both sides here. One of the many uh, public transportation here in the Philippines, tricycle. We've also got uh, jeeps and on the right side here. Market's gonna open up over there. People that have small business just opens up uh, stores in front of their homes. But if you've got the capital, the funding to get a bigger place, a supermarket, if you get yourself a little uh, storage, this is what they use here storage area where the door can just roll down they call it bodega uh, they put their stuff in there and uh, open up the door and uh, sell their items in the evening when it's time to go they just roll it down and shut down the store for the day but you still have a lot of vendors that are uh, hanging out here 
that now they go by. All right, motorcycle. A little bit of a turn here on the left side. It's called Phil and Bess. You can see all the uh, items that they uh, sell in the area. Vegetables, look like grills vegetables, buku juice, they've got uh, some chicken place here, very popular, Andok, Senior Pedro, Chocs, there's a, there we go, let these guys pass, got some bananas hanging out, this store here, Tries to go go by. Look at that bike on the left. On the, oh, that's a nice big bike there. This guy has himself a uh, Alemus MC Philippines. And it looks like about maybe uh, 750, closer to a thousand cc. Anything above, uh, I think, I'm going to say 200, 250 cc here in the Philippines is considered to be a big bike. Uh, back in the state, uh, the bikes that they call motorcycle here uh, are considered called scooter or moped. Our bikes usually uh, in the states uh, will start right around 400 cc and up. 300 cc's in This guy here has got himself a nice bike. Uh, restriction uh, moving around. You 
can move around. Uh, just got to be careful and prepared. Make sure you uh, protect yourself and the others that you're around with. So, face masks, face shield. Uh, some goes to the great length of wearing gloves. Nothing wrong with that, definitely. Uh, but having a uh, hand sanitizer, alcohol in your vehicle is definitely a plus. So that when you are up, out and about, grocery shopping, whatnot, you can uh, definitely get yourself uh, more uh, cleaned up medically when you have these supplies in your vehicle. Okay, we're about uh, maybe 700, 800 M from uh, the crossing. We're in Trece Martínez gas station here. Power fill. That's what it says. Oh, we're about one uh, kilometer ahead for the uh, SM. Uno. Fuel on the left. It says 44.50. Oh, excuse me. 45.70 for the premium. That's yeah, a little cheaper than the ones we've seen. Uno's uh, I think equivalent in our state uh, is Arco. Uh, don't quote me on it, but uh, a lot goes to uh, Petron, Shell. Uh, so those are the most uh, high uh, octane gasolines in the supermarket. Almost finished. This is City Tresi Martires 500M. Got a school here on the left. School, yeah. Are you? Let's see Jollibee. So that is the corner crossing. When you see that, you're uh, uh, right there. I think they have Chow King. Can't, uh, can't live one without the other. Dokes, Senior Pedro. These guys are uh, very well known and popular here. In the Philippines, just about everywhere you go, you'll see them. Okay, so. The crossing, yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, if you make a left turn, uh, you'll make your way all the way to Das Marinas. Uh, if you make a right turn, it'll take you to Naik. And if you go straight, it'll take you to Indang. And then from Indang, it'll take you to Alfonso, Amadeo, Silang, Tagaytay, Batangas. It's a very good road to take when you are headed away from traffic. Okay, big bus in front of us here. Let's see if we can maneuver our way. Follow the jeep, jeepney. Jeepneys are very uh, misforceful. They definitely get uh, around to where they need to go, even though they are a large vehicle. Police officers here wear the green uh, camouflage uniform. See one there on the right. Right side here, guys, it's the uh, Palenque, the market in Trece. Probably can't see it right now, camera's facing forward. Let's see if I can turn the camera a little bit. Oh. Well, we don't want to. We'll just make a make a UE. We're about to move here anyway, so gotta keep both hands on the wheel. Except if you're driving a stick shift. Ooh, 
cool guy. Go fix the door wide open. All right, here we go. We're going straight. We've got N S uh, N here on the right. We've got uh, Jolly B on the right. Mercury on the left. We are looking for the store called. Uh, what is it called, Mike? PBB. Huh? PBB. I don't know. P PBB? Yeah, I don't know, I'm not so sure. Okay. Oh, we'll drive around a little so bit. It's here. across a uh, land bank. Land bank. Land bank is. Oh, is a land bank over here? Okay. Looks like we've got the. Uh, Barangay Luciano. So we right across the. Across the street from. The IR? The IR? We're just kind of cruising a little bit again. It's a road trip, so Let's see if we can uh, locate what we're looking for here. Once you hit a uh, landmark, or once you've seen a landmark here, it's not really very difficult to find what you're looking for. You just got to, uh, you know, there's another market, big market down there that I saw before. That may be it. Terminal bus station, bus that you can take all the way to Manila, Batangas, Laguna, so you don't have to drive. Okay, Kabiti Center, furniture. Make our way down to the next crossing and see if it's there. If not, we'll turn back. This is what road trip is all about. Hospital? General Emilio Aguinaldo. Medical Hospital. Korean Philippines Friendly Ship. Hospital. Crossing, man. I'll make a right yeah. turn here. Super 8 is the market here. Super 8. Yeah, there's a pharmacy here on the left. We'll uh, go straight and see where it, where it leads us. Yeah. Move around this guy. I don't think there's much here, man. No. We might have to turn back, guys. No, just go straight. Go straight, okay. Yeah. I'll go straight. I have my navigator here with me. Hi, Mal. Hi. So, this is what road trip is all about. Forest Park. Forest Farm. Yeah, forest Park. Yeah, well, Forest Park. Yeah, it's Forest Park. Forest Park. Yeah, Park. Okay. There's a, there's a forest farm in Naik, right? Yeah, Barangay, uh, what does that say? Lapidario. Lapidario. Welcome. Okay, Lapidario, Barangay Lapidario. It's like there's their Barangay Hall. Should I make a right turn? Yeah, try a right turn. Okay, I'll stay on the right. Bump, ba bump, hump. Yeah, I don't think there's not much here, but I might have to turn around. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just make a UV. Make a UV. Go back to uh, the Jollibee area there. That might be where the Maybe big supermarket is, huh? Across, yeah. Across from a bank. Yeah. So banks here, guys, are uh, one of the popular ones is BDO. It is called uh, Banco de Oro. Uh, Philippine National Bank, of course, has uh, been here for many, many years. Metro Bank. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, BPI. I think it's called. So these uh, 
back road streets, what we would call back in the States, here they consider to be just the, one of the main streets that they have. So we'll make a left turn here again and uh, make our way back towards uh, the crossing. So traffic light guys, so they have to learn how to maneuver through traffic without having an accident. Okay, so we just made a U-turn. What bank we're looking for? Land Bank. Okay, so I said it's across the street from Land Bank. We need to find Land Bank. On, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I wonder if it's in the main road heading towards Naik. Yeah, probably. Because I don't see one here. It says Land Bank. I don't see the Land Bank. So it might be f on the other road here. So we should have turned right when we got to the crossing. There's a LD Bank B. I don't know what that. What is that? A bank? Is that Land Bank? No, that's Luzon. Okay. No. So it's L not, and B. It's not Luzon. Yeah. E. Yeah. Yeah, so right here at the corner, if you get stuck, you're stuck. So make sure you make your way. Uh, bonus. Let's see. Home, home alone, furniture. We got a PLDP 7 Eleven. They've got Jollibee, BDO. Okay, I don't see. What does this thing say? Um, I don't know. No, I don't think that's it. Bionis, Bionis. Bionis? I don't know. Lansonis? Okay, Lansonis is a. Oh, Look at the line for BDO. Yeah, it's an old line. The line for BDO is always long here, guys. So come early, come quick. If you want to get some money out. We are making a left turn here at the crossing. And uh, see if we can locate uh, our destination. I uh, informed that it is across the street from a bank. Land Bank. Okay, we're moving, we're moving. Huh? Oh, crossing. We're moving. Okay, guys, you can't have both of them go at the same time. There's a traffic enforcer in the middle of the street. Alright, guys, get in there. The only way you're gonna. We're going in. We're going in. Okay. So, I see a tower mall. Pure gold. Chow King. Hello. I see a 167, honey. What is that? A store? Yes, that's 167 supermarket. On the right side. Is that what we're looking for? No. No? It's HBP. HBP. Okay. That is across from the SM Mall. SM Mall, guys, is on the right side here. Oh, excuse me, on the left side here. There you go, guys. Move a little bit. Yeah, that's it. You're getting there. All right, here we go. All right. Don't kill horn. Don't kill horn. We have a SM uh, mall on the left, and we've got a 167 Supermart on the right. Uh, 
Metro Bank on the left. Let's see this land bank, man. Trece, okay, we're in Trece, so we'll keep looking. Road trip. Okay, Zonanzen. Hey, there's the uh, K Cervical. Huh. That's where they sell a lot of the uh, Majah. Just uh, looking into that. Majah is a tricycle. Instead of these sidecar, your passengers are in the rear. Well, guys, we're going to drive around a little bit here and see if we can find our uh, destination. We seem to be a little bit uh, lost, <laughs> but that's what road trips all about. You get lost and you find your way back. So we'll pick it up here in a minute. Let's see if we can uh, locate our final destination. See you in a bit.